from having grilling competitions with his brother to owning an entertainment venue in his hometown. Here are things you never knew about Taylor Kinney. I show up and they're like, oh, this is the idea, this is the idea. And I go, okay, just let me... Let me do my thing. Starting with the fact that he's an accomplished athlete. What? I mean, his love for sports and all isn't hidden at all, but he's an athlete himself? That's quite surprising. Just listen to this. Taylor was a volleyball player in his high school, and he was a good one. He was even named the Volleyball Player of the Year during high school. That's how good he was. But he didn't stop there. His interests shifted entirely in college, and Kinney started boxing. He even said that after training for three-minute rounds, he'd feel so tired that he couldn't even get his arms up. Hilarious. Even though he took up acting as a profession, his love for sports did come in handy while preparing for Chicago Fire. It takes proper training and preparation to even act like a firefighter, and Taylor was used to training thanks to volleyball and boxing. But there's one thing sports didn't teach him, how to handle the 65-pound gear that firefighters wear. Kinney admitted that when he first tried that gear on, it was so difficult for him to manage. And that's when he realized how much training the firefighters have. But boxing and volleyball aren't the only sports Kinney loves. He's a big fan of surfing, too. Remember the time when Taylor attended West Virginia University for two years? Yeah, he dropped out as a junior and moved to Hawaii. That's when he suddenly got interested in surfing. Although he only lived for one year in Hawaii, he made the most of it by learning how to surf. Now that he lives in Chicago, he always manages to make some time to go to California and surf in San Diego. All this effort for surfing? He must really love it. Well, yes, he does. He even bought a house in San Diego out of his love for the sport. But unfortunately, the house mysteriously caught fire. Kinney still doesn't know how it happened, but he did see a man walking past his house and noticed that the roof was on fire. The man told him, but he didn't believe him at first and had to go and see for himself, and it was really on fire. Speaking of fire though, did you know he's also a huge fan of NASCAR and Formula One? In Formula One, you need to be able to adapt. When you need to be aggressive, you need to be aggressive. When you need to be smooth, you need to be smooth. And when I'm in the car, I would never give up. See, Kenny grew up as a huge fan of motorsports. Maybe it runs in the family, and his love for that sport finally awarded him with a big opportunity. In 2021, the Chicago Fire had the chance to catch up with Ferrari's team member Gino Rosato. Taylor was so happy to meet that man that he even took a picture with him and posted it on his Instagram. In 2019, he even went on a ride along with the famous NASCAR driver Jeff Burton. As they were going around the track, you could clearly see the happiness on his face. He finally got the opportunity to ride in a car that he grew up watching. It was so good to see him this happy, and because of his love for sports, Kinney is very competitive. This is pretty great. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off right here and run a little hot lap. Yeah. I want you to tell everybody what yeah. you're feeling. Holy But the battles that he has had with his brothers are just strange. Apparently, Taylor Kinney has grill-offs with his brother. Yeah, you heard me right. Guess he just loves food. I mean, who doesn't? But okay, his love for food has got him to grill at home. That wasn't the case when he was growing up, though. Taylor admitted that he grew up on meatloaf and fish sticks. But it all changed when he started high school. He used to work as a carpenter and roofer. And when he got back home, he used to get super hungry after working all all day long. That's when he decided to learn how to grill. He even got so good that he started making his own marinades. Taylor began to create his own recipes and got creative with them with each passing day. And when he became an expert, he invited his brothers to it too. That's when the fiery competitions began. Who was the expert at grilling in the family? Taylor Kinney has my vote on this one. And since we're already on the topic of family, do you know how many siblings he exactly has? Hint, it's more than you think. Thank you.
Turns out, Kinney has three brothers. I can't believe some people actually think that Taylor's an only child. He's not even close to being an only child. He has one older brother, Adam, and two younger brothers, Trent and Ryan. However, Ryan unfortunately passed away in 2008 when he was just 17 years old. Despite the loss, the brothers still share a strong bond of love, exactly how it should be. Speaking of love though, Taylor's love for entertaining people has led him to invest in a small entertainment venue to bring joy to others. See, Taylor's a local Pennsylvania boy. He hails from a town called Lancaster, and it's never too bad to invest in your hometown business, is it? The actor's a part owner in a theater called Zoetropolis, and this theater's a good one, people. They obviously do the usual movie screenings like any other theater, but that's just the beginning. Taylor's theater also hosts comedy shows and small concerts with some local musicians from the town. If you asked me, it's very nice of them to see them providing a platform to his local artists. Apart from this, Taylor's a huge movie buff, which is why his theater also screens movies from the past, especially the movies which have a dark theme or strong aesthetics. So if you're ever in the mood for re-watching The Night of the Hunter, The Dark Knight, or Memento, you can always visit Zoe Tropolis, cause they will be screening those movies. Guess Taylor really is a man of culture, huh? But there is one thing we haven't talked about though, and I think a lot of you have been waiting to get the scoop on Taylor's celebrity crush. Your first celebrity crush. Peggy Bundy! <laughs> yes. I love that. I never oh. understood why Al didn't want to sleep with her. Because I always did. Now everyone knows that the actor's public relationship with Lady Gaga didn't go too well. And well, since then he's always kept his romantic life private. However, during an interview with the whole Chicago Fire cast, someone asked Taylor about his celebrity crush, and he decided to finally spill the beans. But the answer was a little unexpected, in a good way though. See, without any hesitation, Taylor said Peggy Bundy. Now the thing is, Peggy isn't actually a real person. She's a fictional character played by Katie Seagal in a sitcom called Married with Children. He never actually cleared up if he feels the same way about the actor behind Peggy, but the response surely got a chuckle out of the entire Chicago Fire cast. And speaking of Chicago Fire, Kinney once got out of a ticket because of his role on the show. See, Taylor is a huge fan of motorcycles. He never misses a chance to ride his bike. <laughs> One day he was doing just that, but suddenly the weather turned bad and caused a traffic jam. What did Taylor do? He started riding in the bus lane to pass the jam, which the officer on the way didn't like at all. The officer stopped him, he was in the mood of giving Taylor a ticket. But turns out the officer was a fan. They talked for a bit on the side of the road. He even called Kinney a fake firefighter. After having a few laughs, the officer let him go. These are the perks of being a celebrity. That's all for the secrets fans didn't know about Taylor Kinney.